This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the character sprint and walk. So it's a fairly common game mechanic to make your character sprint and walk. And I'm going to, of course, do this in the first person uh, uh, area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into my first person blueprint, blueprints folder and go into the first person character here. Now there's a couple things you can do. Uh, we can hop into the character movement down here and there's two things you need to understand here. There is, and I'm just going to move this over here because you can't really see. So we got the max walk speed, and then we also have the max acceleration. Okay, so I just to to make this work here, let's set this to twenty thousand, something really ridiculously high. All right, so if it's twenty thousand, you'll see that you know you can see that it this top speed is quite a bit higher, but it takes a bit of time to get there. The reason for that is, of course, the max acceleration. Okay. And so in this case, if we put it to 20,000, you'll see that this character uh, will indeed just move very, very quickly, right? And that's not quite what we want. So, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to make the character sprint and unsprint. So let's just undo all of that, the things that I just did here. And so that should put it back to 2,048 and then 600, okay? So let's, um, let's do the course, the same thing where you push shift, well, let's do shift and let's do, well, we can actually do left shift or right shift. Um, and there's a bunch of, um, you know, is, uh, you can see that is, uh, we have the pressed or released. You can do it either where you press it and um, you can change here. So how do we do this here? Well, it's actually quite simple here. Uh, if you drag this, this character movement over by pushing control, um, we can say, that the um, set, um, let's see, speed, and we have to get the exact one. So we have the max acceleration and the max walk speed. So if I type in walk speed, we're going to set the max walk speed. Okay, so the max walk speed, we're going to set to the same number here. Um, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be quite easy to do. So we just push the press here. And we also need to set um, acceleration. Set max acceleration here. Now, the thing that you should probably do is put this up first, like that here. Okay, so we're going to set the max acceleration here. And I'm actually just going to take a couple seconds to format this in a way that makes a lot of sense here. So I'm going to move this up here like so. Okay, and like this. So we're gonna have the character move it and we're gonna set the max acceleration. Now we actually have to set the max acceleration. So let's say uh, max um, sprint, All right. or we could just call it sprint speed. Okay, but we don't wanna make it a Boolean, we wanna make it a float. Why do we wanna make it a float? Because this variable is also a float. So let's go that here and then let's make it, um, Let's make it something along the lines of 2000, okay? And we can, of course, play with that later. And all you have to do is simply drag that in here. And you can actually drag it in here like so, or you can simply drag that over here. It's completely up to you. So now that we have that here, we're basically going to set and copy and paste this down here. Of course, we don't wanna do the left shift here. Maybe move this down here, but we're going to set, when the shift gets released, we're gonna set it to something else. And we're gonna call this variable, we'll call this original uh, um, max acceleration, and compile that, and remember the max acceleration was 2048. Bonus points if you can always, um, uh, if you can always remember things. And I'm going to copy, and uh, we can actually just duplicate this here, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be original, um, and then we say uh, original max walk speed. Okay, and then we're just going to drag the acceleration into the acceleration, and then the speed into the speed. Okay, now of course, we actually have to compile this and set this speed 
not to 2048, but to 600. Okay. So this, what it should do is that when you push the left shift, it will set the acceleration. When you release it, it will stop. So let's go ahead and let's test this out. So it's very easy. So you're walking, walking, and then boom. Yeah, you push the shift and you can see that the speed is much bigger here. Now, of course, you can set the speed whatever you want, but as soon as you release it, uh, you, you stop, right? So that's pretty cool too. Now, of course, if you were looking at some of the other items here, if you look at this, you have the max walk speed. And you also have the max walk speed while crouched, right? Um, so if you're crouching, which is a fairly common thing in first person shooters to do, then yes, then you can uh, then you can do that here. But that's something that's really interesting to do. So that's how you add in a walk slash run script to uh, a first person uh, a first person shooter uh, template here here in Unreal Engine Five. Now, of course, that concludes this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is not monetized, so liking and subscribing will help this channel get monetized. And uh, also share this video. The more shares we get, the more money we can make. And if you really like this channel, you can buy our digital products down below, including a lot of Unreal Engine tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.